Hi y'all, it's Charlene from the Crafty Art Shack and we're here today with another challenge video. This is a pretty cool challenge. We gotta take stuff that would normally be thrown away and turn it into something that is sellable. Now the items that I created here today is not what I had in mind, but it's what I had to do because I ran short of time. So we always use stuff to, and recycle it as much as possible. Hope you do too. And let's get on with the video. Here we go with DIY number one. And for this DIY, you're gonna need a toilet paper tube. Now you're not gonna wanna cut it at first like I did. So I went and got another toilet paper tube and I put some Mod Podge on it and I'm going to wrap that napkin around it. Now you want to separate your napkin so you only have uh, one piece. And then you're going to take and glue that together. And then you're going to mark off. I think you can get four napkin rings out of this. And then the next thing that I do is I'm going to take and embellish this. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is take a piece of red ribbon and wrap it around it. And I was going to put this poinsettia on it, but it's a little too big for the napkin ring. So what I'm going to do is take and get a little silver piece of off of uh, some of the stuff that I used for other crafts that would have normally been thrown away. And I'm going to add that and I'm going to add this little piece of red berries to this and we will see this at the final reveal. Now today's video is Turn Trash Into Cash and this is hosted by David Owens Creates and we are supposed to take items that would normally be thrown away and turn them into something that we can sell. Now let's get on with the rest of the video. And here we go with DIY number two. Now DIY number two, I found this palette that came off of part of like when they bring appliances in your home and everything and they were going to throw this away. So I snagged it up and I grabbed a piece of it and I painted it with white chalk paint. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw me a little sleigh on here because this is going to say farmhouse farmhouse sleigh rides and I'm kind of using this little uh, symbol here or not symbol uh, printout that I did but I only wanted the farmhouse font so I put that on there and then I wrote out the rest of it in pencil next thing I did is I painted me some little Christmas trees on here with green and white and I double loaded my brush and if you haven't watched me paint, that's done in a lot of other videos that I do. Now, the next thing I'm doing is adding the little tree trunks in. And then I am going to get that nice and dry so I can continue painting on this. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do all my lettering. And I use that real thin skinny brush and go ahead and do my lettering for my project. And I'm going to do this in black. And then I'll go down and do the sleigh rides in uh, red. And then I'll do my sleigh in red as well. And you guys, this turned out so cute. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take brown and white mixed on my brush half and half. And I'm going to go in there and I'm going to paint right under the little sleigh, under the little trees, just to give this a little bit of dimension. You guys, this turned out so cute. Then the next thing I'm going to do is add a piece of nautical rope on the top for a hanger. And we'll see this at the final reveal. At this time, we'd like to thank our subscribers for subscribing to our channel. We love you bunches. Here we go with DIY number three. Now this DIY, we took a piece of cardboard that was going to be thrown away. We took a can that was going to be thrown away and we made a lid. We also took some of this paper towel roll that would normally be thrown away and we're going to cut some little strips off of it to wrap around the edge of that piece of cardboard because we're going to make us a canister here and now I'm going to take those little strips that I cut off of the paper towel roll and I'm going to glue them down all the way around 
Now it is a little bit wider than my piece of cardboard, but that's okay because that's what's going to help my lid stay on my can. Now this is just going to be a decorative piece, so it's not got to shut all the way or anything like that. And you could put anything on the outside of this can that you want to, um, like hot cocoa, and then put the Swiss Miss packets in it. I, yeah, there goes my alarm again. Okay, after I get that cardboard ran around that, I'm trying to decide what I'm going to um, make next. And so I started to cut little, cover this with paper, but I decided to get some of that faux leather. Uh, I have a piece of it left from another project that was going to be uh, thrown away. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting up little slits all the way around this so that I can glue it down to the top of my cardboard piece that I made to make this lid look more decorative. So I'm going to just take some glue, but the first thing I want to do is I want to find the center because I want to put my little uh, screw through there to make sure that it's going to be the right length and everything that I'm going to need. Then I take and put just regular old Elmer's glue down and I'm going to put this piece of faux leather down over the top of it and I am going to pull those little tabs down all the way around so that it gives it a more finished look and then I will cut strips of the same uh, faux vinyl. Now my husband throws away scraps all the time from his, he's an upholsterer and so I usually grab up his, but this time I did happen to use the ones from the Dollar Tree, but normally this stuff is thrown away from for him because it's too small for his projects. So we're going to use them in our projects. So after I get this done, I trim that up. Then the next thing I'm going to do is cut a circle for the inside of that lid. Okay, after you get that inside of that circle done, you need to make sure it has a hole in it because it's going to be hard to punch a hole in it after you put it on the cardboard. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this nautical rope to give it a more finished look on the outside and I'm going to go all the way around the edge. Now I was going to do all of these themed Christmas but I decided that this one I would rather do as a Christmas, uh, as a gift idea that you could do. And so I'm going to go all the way around this with the nautical rope. Then I'm going to come back in with that real thin jute rope and tuck that in there. And then I'm going to go around the bottom of that lid with the nautical rope too. Now after I go all the way around that, I'm going to take and screw down my little knob on the top and my lid is all finished. Now it's time to finish the can. So we're going to get some paint out and we are going to paint this with some Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint. Now the next thing I did, um, and I'm just showing y'all that you can take a stencil, put it on here. Now this stencil is was going to leave too many bleeds because of the size of the stencil. So I just traced out the word coffee off of this stencil so that I would have the wording and it would be easy to do. Then I take a Sharpie marker and I outline all of my letters. And then after that, I go back in and fill it in with blue paint. And after that, we will see the rest of this at the final reveal. And again, today's video is hosted by David Owens Creates, and it's Turn Trash Into Cash. And also, there's a whole playlist listed in the description box below. Go check out all the ladies and gentlemen that are participating in this challenge. I think you'll get some great ideas from it. And... Let's get on with the video. And here's all the other places that you can find us on social media. Go check us out. And here is the final reveal. Okay, as part of this challenge, 
we have to sell these items. So if y'all like this trash that I turned into cash and you would like to purchase one of these, leave me a comment below. You don't have to physically purchase it, but you know, leave me comments telling me, yeah, you would buy this one so that I win this challenge. And let me know which is your favorite. All right, y'all, we're back from the craft desk, and these items turned out so cute. Now, part of the challenge was is I had to sell uh, my items. So, in the comments below, tell me which item you would like to purchase. And I'm not asking you to physically buy it. I'm just asking you to tell me which one you would like to purchase so that I uh, can fulfill this part of the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and here's the little items again. Here's the farmhouse sleigh, the coffee can, and these little napkin rings. You guys, these all turned out so cute. So, so cute. And made out of stuff that would normally be thrown away. So, in saying that, leave comments below. Give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It's free and it helps our channel. And it helps us to bring more things to you if you subscribe. And so we'll see you in the next episode of the Crafty Art Shack. We talk. Thank you to all of our subscribers. We love you bunches. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Hi, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I was supposed to be doing the end. <laughs> For all the different seasons. We hope you guys in. La, 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 la. <laughs> all kinds of stuff. Just let your imagination go so we can work in. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> ah, squirrel. <laughs> and a little bit of paint. Yeah. How y'all like that silly deal? <laughs> yeah, don't. That yeah, we made. And yeah. So if you'd like to. Yeah. Help me out. Leave a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. That's going to help you win the competition. And then, yeah. Where's that? Ah! <laughs> Art Shack, and thank you for subscribing to our channel. And we'll see you in the next episode of the Crafty Art Shack. We'll see you later. Bye.